walk you through downloading DS2. So you're going to get an email that looks like this. It's going to say, here's your download for Deep Sampler 2. Click on that link. And then as you can see, the downloads were automatically triggered. And you're just going to wait for that to finish downloading. So my DMG popped up in my downloads folder. And when I double click it, it opens as this. What you're going to do is take this and drag it into your applications folder. So here I would just take that and drag it in. While this is copying, I'm going to go into Finder and press Command-Shift-G. And when it's asked me what folder I want to go to, I'm just going to type in a slash library. Go ahead and click on that. From here, I'm going to go into this audio folder. Then I'm going to go into plugins. And here I need to drag these two files into my plugins folder. The component is going to go into the components folder. I'm going to be replacing mine because I already had it in there. And then for the VST3, you're going to put that into the VST3 folder. All right, now our download's finished. We're going to double click on this to launch it. It should pop up on our icon toolbar up here once it's done verifying. I'm going to click open. And now it's up here on the icon taskbar. I'm going to open up the DAW of choice. Let's go with Ableton Live today. All right, I'm in Ableton Live and now I'm going to open up Deep Sampler 2. So I'm just going to type in Deep, go to VST3, Audio Lab, Deep Sampler 2, double click that, and it should populate in our rack here. And from here, you're going to go to this settings icon and you're going to select a folder for your models to go in. So I have one in my documents and I just named it Deep Sampler 2. So from here, you can type in a new folder, Deep Sampler 2, and then hit create, open. And now all of your models and stuff will go to this folder. Once you open up DS2 in Ableton Live, you're going to connect to the Audio Lab engine. So just click on this button here. Once it connects to the engine, it will just say generate and it'll no longer say connect to the Audio Lab engine. From here, you can go to your settings and add the URL for any models that you'll like to use. I'll link some models in the description. In order to download those models, you would type your URL in here as so and then hit the download button and it will trigger your download. You can decide if you want to download the small version or the full version. I'm going to go with the full version. You can move this window around if you need to. I'm going to hit close for now and show you how to generate your first sample using DS2. So we're going to use the vocal textures model right now. And I want to generate a four bar loop. And I'm going to put in a prompt here. Women, choir, A minor, chord, progression. You're gonna hit generate, and this is what we got here. And I can just drag this into the DAW. and do whatever you will with that sample. Now coming back into DS2, if you would like to use a different model, then you would just switch the model to uh, Infinite Pianos or whatever model you would like to switch it to, and you could type in a different prompt. And we have our sample there. Uh, keep in mind, you can also sync this to your DOS tempo. So if I hit sync, it'll go down to 120. It was at 150 previously. And now when I put in my bar amount, it will actually sync to the project. Pretty cool. Drop that in. And now we have a little loop generated with DS2. And you can chop it up however you want to. That is a wrap. That's how you set up Deep Sampler 2 on a Mac.